Hey, hi, I'm Mona. This is Chit Chat. So we were going to go to the lake today, and when I got in the car, I saw that the check engine light was on. Yeah. So I panicked. I panicked. We didn't go to the lake, and it sucks because I told the dogs, oh, we're going to go there, and they're all excited, you know. We still went, but I went to the Jiffy Loop because I was worried, you know, because that was the last mechanic place I went to. And they brought out their uh, machine and checked, and it was something like, something with the gas line or mission, whatever, something like this, right? <clears throat> and I was like, can you guys fix it? And they're like, no. I said, can you recommend me, like, where to go? And so he, the guy told me two places. Um, in the beginning, when he checked it, he checked my gas cap. He wanted to see, he said, sometimes it's just the gas cap not closed or whatever. And I was like, oh, you know. But he really couldn't tell, so he told me those two places. I went to one place, and, you know, the guy was, he, he almost acted like he didn't even want me there. Like, you know, like, you know, I was like, uh, I told him the situation, and they're like, well, it's going to be around $200 to, you know, um, diagnose it. And, and then you're going to have to leave the car, the car here all entire day, whatever, whatever. And I was like, well, okay, yeah, I need, you know, I need it fixed. And they're like, we can't get you an appointment in until the, um, the 23rd. And I was like, you know, like, I was like, all right, you know, so I made the appointment and, um, and then I, I had the other guy's name too. So I went there second. I made the appointment because what if I can't, that's my only alternative, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I was on my way to the other place because that was like 15, 20 minutes away from where I was. And, but I was like, you know what, I was like, I, I need to go and check, you know? And, um, halfway there I saw a Meineke and I called them and I was like, oh yeah, you know, I told him the situation and he goes, oh, well, we can check it now. It'll take about an hour. And then if anything, you can bring it back. And I was like, oh, okay. Because it was. It was late in the day. You know what I mean? It was already late. It was like one or two, maybe two. Yeah. And so um, I was like, all right, all right. You know, so I went to um, the other place. And those people were so nice over there. They were so nice. The guy came out. He brought his machine. He explained to me, like, what type of stuff this is, you know, which that was real nice. Um, another guy came out, and uh, he checked something. He checked the gas cap. And he's all, well, you know, look at the gas cap. He said the gasket around it already looks like it's really worn out. And I'm all, oh. Oh, yeah, you know, because I don't know. And so um, the the guy who was in the office, so so that guy went around back to the where the mechanics are working, you know. And then um, the, the, I guess the office manager, I don't know, you know. I went in there and I talked to him and he said, well, we can get it for you, but it will take them like 30 minutes. And I was like, oh, are you guys going to call Napa or something like that? And he's like, yeah. I was like, you know what? I'll just go. I'll just go there and get it and come back. Uh, because he said that he needed to hook the machine up to turn off the check engine light so that we can tell if that's even the problem, you know. And so I went over there and I got it and I came back and um, he installed it because I didn't install it. He installed it because it's one of those ones with the, mm, it's, what was it called? It has a, a, an extra piece that you can, so you don't put it down and lose it. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so um, he, he put that on and put it on and, and uh, start the car and did the erase thing. And it went out. The check engine light went out. Yeah, and he's all, well, drive it for a little bit, and then you'll see whether or not if it comes. It hasn't come back on. I went and I got gas. I turned it off, you know, went in, turned it back on, didn't go on. And then I drove all the way back this way because I had promised Brian that we would go swimming. So we went over there, turned it off, went down there, turned it back on. It didn't go on. So... I come, I, you know, when I, 
when I came when I came back to have the guy put it on there and then he turned off the light he reset it or whatever I'm like so how much uh, do I owe you he's like it's nothing yeah can you believe that this guy was a very what was the name of that place and, and and we're around Flagstaff, okay? This guy, the name of the place is called, I'm going to tell you right now, T.L. Auto. You see that? If I would have taken it to the place where I made an appointment, he would have charged me the $200 just to diagnose, and then he would have um, charged me, of course, for the part, and for the labor and and you know that's like I feel like that's like totally taken advantage you know when he could have just simply told me the first step before I bring it back there but he wants the business he wants the money you know what I mean and I felt in my gut like I got to check this other place I'm so glad I did. That place was a blessing. It was. It saved me a couple hundred bucks, man. And for free, for nothing. I just had to go buy my part, and that was it. And and But he, he did say, you know, if the light goes back on, then we're going to check. Because he showed me everything. Like, he showed me a diagram of how was, what to check. And I was like, dang, this guy's cool. You know what I mean? And so um, the first thing was check the gas cap and that's what it was and that's all it was and he yeah he didn't charge me anything see this is an honest place you know not like one of these places who i don't know i'm not sure what these people are thinking people are so money hungry and so selfish you know and anyways i'm gonna keep an eye on the car i feel like that finding that place was a true blessing you know, to me, um, I always take care of the car when things are due on it. I always take it in, you know, and, and I just, I don't want to be caught anywhere because I didn't feel, or I didn't think, no, I don't, I'm not a mechanic. And when they're charts, cause they have charts that say when you're supposed to do this, when you're supposed to do that, I believe in those charts. If you want, uh, your car to run well all the time, I don't push this car, none of that, you know, and, but it was something as simple as that. And that place I feel like wanted to rip me off like instead of just jumping out real quick and checking like these guys did it, it's like it's it's a blood those guys were a blessing you know what I mean <laughs> I swear so I mean shoot because I have to depend on on professionals for some for my stuff because I don't know about that and I don't have a man who might know that I mean I may not have love but you know what God loves me <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, what if I would have never checked that place? What if I would have felt like, well, I guess this is my only choice, but it's not. I can check other places, you know. I And, and I was talking to the guy, and he was acting like, well, if you want to have an appointment, it's not going to be until next week. And, you know, he was, like, really upset or mad or I don't know. He was, like, an angry person. And I was just like, okay, you know, I, I have to, I'm, I'm worried, you know. I don't want my car, you know, we need my, I need my car to be feeling good, <laughs> to not be sick, you know, because also, like, from now until the 23rd, I will be, like, anxiety the whole time. Yeah, that will bring up my freaking blood pressure and all that shit. I need to get, when things happen, I, I like to nip it in the bud, right? I like to take care of it right away. I'm not going to think like, oh, well, maybe. No, no. Even though that guy told me like, yeah, it'll run for 20 years or whatever. And I was just like, no. Mm -mm. I want it done now. <laughs> I want it fixed now. The reason why my car is doing well is because I do things when I'm supposed to do it, you know. Anyways, anyways. I feel blessed for that. I just do. And then I went to go get gas. Uh, another thing today, and I know, see, this is what, I know it sounds weirdy to you guys, but but let me tell you, I went to the gas station, and I, I uh, went inside, because I was thirsty, feeling thirsty, and then I thought, oh, I'll just grab a bag of ice, so I grab a bag of ice, get the stuff, and the guy goes, oh, yes, thank, uh, thank you very much, you know, like, at the end of the transaction, he's like, thank you very much, God bless you, and I was like, oh, God bless you, too, because you know what, people, they don't say that, people, they don't say that, you know, 
and it's surprising when I hear it. I'm happy, you know, when I hear that because I swear all the stuff that's been happening, all the stuff that's been happening to me, I always come out like with real good luck or no, I just feel like, you know, because I have my faith in God, that's why, you know, uh, that, you know what, the sheriffs have been running, driving up and down here today also since i've been here the sheriffs came up they came up they uh, ambulance came up <sighs> that, that the free places uh you have to run into undesirables you know people they're not uh, i found out from this guy uh, somebody was saying about how there's people you know they're on drugs up here and they can't monitor you know they don't monitor this place that people are doing the 14-day rule it's like I mean, like I said, I don't mind it, but, like, then you have to deal with people, like, who who are, like, druggies and they're, like, falling out out here and shit, you know, like, dang, it's kind of weird, you know, but we'll be here for, what, till, like, the 23rd, I think, and then we're gonna, we're gonna bail, we're gonna go to a different spot up here, because this is a Coco Nino National Forest right here, we're next to Flagstaff. You can camp up here, but there's a lot of people up here, and I think they're, like, doing drugs and stuff, you know, falling out, and that's why the ambulance have to come out here. It's like, damn, they're, you know? And, uh, yes, chica. Okay. So, I just want to keep to myself. I just want to keep to myself and just, you know, monitor the car, because we did go to the lake. After all this happened, I was like, I had to take them. I had to keep my promise, you know? So, I took them down there for a little bit. And then uh, came back up here. Yes, Chica. She's happy with that ball. I'm telling you, I got her that ball. She's happy now. I have another one hiding in the car. <laughs> like she can hear me or understand me. You know what I mean? But anyways. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to do the time here. And I hope we'll get our first appointment around here is going to be the vet. Oh, I have to call that auto shop and cancel my appointment. And say, yeah, no, thank you. You know, that's what I'm going to just say. No, thank you. I uh, I got it fixed, you know. So, oh, man, they're screaming over there. It's drama. Anyways, you guys, that's all I have. This is Sacred Geometry Universe. Uh, Chit-chat. Chit-chat. I almost forgot. This is chit-chat. And I'll uh, we'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.